welcome to the tour of the brain. Today we're having two of our best scientists show us around. Every room has a function, a part to play, and this first room is very important. It's called the frontal lobe and it's part of the cerebrum. In this part of the brain, planning and speech writing happen. Here we piece together words for speaking and pieces of information for planning. The next part is called the parietal lobe, which is also in the cerebrum. This part controls our movement and orientation. It tells us how to throw a ball and how to catch one. In this room, we have the occipital lobe. Here, the visuals that our eyes send to the brain are processed. For example, it is the part of our brain that interprets art. In the temporal lobe, we store memories of the experiences felt from the five senses. Sight, sound, touch, taste and smell. The next section of the brain is called the cerebellum. This part is very important as our brain coordinates movement like exercise and running or even punching a bag. It also coordinates posture and balance like trying to balance on a ball. Another very important part of the brain is the thalamus, which is part of the limbic system. Here controls sensory information and the movement of nerve cells. For example, this part of the brain tells us how to breathe in and out. hypothalamus is a very important part of the brain. Here the brain controls and reads our emotions. It can understand the feeling of sadness and it tells the body how to react. This is the last part of the brain that we'll be showing you today. This is the brain stem and it is by far the most important part of the brain. It controls the flow of messages between the brain and the body. Thanks for watching and I'll give the final word to our camera woman. Sometimes people forget it's the brain, not the heart, that holds the real emotions.